the 6th of January 2019. I met up with YouTuber The Don in London for a group ride out on a Sunday. Ay, 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 6th of January 2019. I met up with the YouTuber The Don in London for a group ride out on a nice Sunday's morning. Welcome back people to another video and for those of you that don't know we're about to come up to Ace Cafe Yes, the Bikers Cafe in North London Whilst overtaking and travelling at roughly 70 miles an hour my back tyre blew out and although you can't tell by the video the handlebars were trying to move left and right as I lost control of the back end I tried to brute force control of the bike through slowing down and grips in the handlebars trying to avoid movement from the front and steering myself towards the hard shoulder. So I've broken down on the M11. And I have no idea what's in my tire. It's green, it's exploded, and there's green stuff everywhere. As far as I'm aware, there is no anti-puncture slime or goo. Or I don't know what they have. There's a lot of products out there. There are no products in this tire, it's just a standard tire. So I don't know what the hell that green thing is. I don't know where it's come from. All I know is I almost died, you know, having my tire go flat at 70 odd miles an hour. Because the bike started shaking, losing control. I had to slow right down. Uh, there was cars coming up behind me. I am on the motorway. Amber lights on instantly. You know, shoulder check, mirror check, change lane, once, twice, three times, then hard shoulder. The bike almost lost control, because when you lose tyre, you get, lack, you know, lack of steering from the back, uh, lack of control from the back, more like. And all I did, every time it lost control, you tense, put your legs down and try and stabilise it. Might be the wrong advice, but it works for me. Um, so yeah, count your blessings, I almost died today. After waiting for recovery, I realised I wasn't alone. Core members and trusted advisors of a group we're all going to start up showed up for support in my hour of need. <laughs> so the cavalry are here. I see them forming it down the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to say I'm really excited about this group that we're starting up. Now these are some of the most trusted people I know. You know we're going out of way to start up a group that really focuses on convictions, intelligence, you know, all through the means of Insta Instagram and other forms of social media. You know, we're going to be so focused, so targeted, and we're going to get good results. Now I'm not going to give out all my plans right here and now, there's more to come on that later. But we've got huge plans and this is going to be a real force to be reckoned with. Finally, recovery shows up and plugs my back tyre with a few pluggy plugs. He made it clear to me that this is a temporary fix and advise I take the bike back home until it's Monday where we can get it fixed because on Sunday everything's closed. But I had other ideas. The group at this point were finishing their ride off and all returning to Waste Calf for a final meal. And I know I say Ace Cafe, there are a lot of thieves and stuff, but you know, to be honest, as long as it's light outside, they don't come out. They only come out when it's dark. They come out of their rat holes um, with knives, machetes, chengens, quingens, whatever the you want to call it. Um, so yeah, it was all right. It was still light. I was okay to go to Ace Cafe. On my way to Ace Cafe, I encountered some pesky thieves. Watch here.
At this point, I just wanted to follow these guys and observe, as I wasn't sure if they were thieves. Watch here as they go next to this car at a red light and scope out the occupants to see if they're potential targets, just like we have seen in other videos. Police, please. Oh, they were trying to like, um, they were going through red lights, trying to like look into people's cars and stuff. Oh, they were looking into cars? Yeah, they're on a white, uh, white PCX, but they've stopped in McDonald's. I, st uh, I followed them there, and now they're just, um, they're just like staying still, so they don't know I'm watching them. Oh, I'm not sure, they're wearing helmets. Full face, black. And what colour puffer jackets have they got? Uh, they're black and they've got fluffy bits on the... Um, they're, on, they're on a white bike. They're standing next to a white bike with no mirrors. It's a scooter. No, I didn't get it. I've got it on camera, but I didn't get the registration. Yeah, they're there now outside, um, outside there. Yeah. yeah. Alright, remember it's a white PCX, okay? A white, a white PCX? A PCX. PCX, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's the bike. Uh, no mirrors, it's a white scooter basically. Alright, perfect. Thank you very much. I'll pass that across to them, okay? Alright, thank you. Bye bye, bye. Hear the police.
tire, you little f Yo, two sets. What's going on? Two guys driving around looking into cars and stuff. Then they stopped outside the McDonald's. I called it in. You're the informant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then once they where have they gone? They went down that way. Oh, they okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, um, control, the guy in the inside his jacket is actually informant, he's been seeing it. Apparently they're all around the place in the avenue area, I'm just thinking to the informant now. Oh, did you think I was them? Yeah, I, oh, I saw you because I was at the triangle. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, no, my bad. Then I saw you come out there, Yeah. so I followed you here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lucky that ran me. <laughs> but, well, I can't. Yeah, I, I don't have those skills.